Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to download and visualize a NDMI image for any study region. So NDMI here refers to Normalized Difference Moisture Index. So now let me explain about the NDMI. So the Normalized Difference Moisture Index is used to determine the vegetation water content. It is calculated as a ratio between NIR and shortwave infrared values in the traditional fashion. So we will be using Landsat 8 image to perform our NDMI. So here the formula that explains our NDMI. So in NDMI in Landsat 8 and 9 image we can use band 5 minus band 6 divided by band 5 plus band 6. This will uh, provide us a NDMI image that is normalized difference moisture index. So normalized different moisture index is a remote sensing index used to assess a vegetation moisture content and at water stress level. It is particularly helpful in monitoring drought condition and understanding the health and vigor of the vegetation in various regions. So this is a formula we're going to use in uh, to uh, produce NDMI image using Landsat 8 image that is NAR minus shortwave infrared divided by NAR plus shortwave infrared. So by taking the ratio of these two values, that is our NDMI calculation, the influence of other factors like topography and sensor calibration is minimized. Uh, that is by using NIR and shortwave infrared bands. Uh, to influence other factors like topography and sensor calibration is minimized, resulting more reliable measure of vegetation moisture content. So here, the NDMI values varies from minus 1 to plus 1. So the negative 1 negative values indicates, that is closer to minus 1 indicates, a dry or stretched vegetation such as during a drought condition and similarly the positive value that is closer to one indicates a healthy and well hydrated vegetation with a higher value suggesting a more abundant presence of water in the vegetation the application of ndmi includes drought monitoring agricultural assessment forest health evaluation water resource management it helps researchers and environmentalists and uh, the policy maker to gain the insight into the state of the vegetation and water stress in different regions over time and facilitating an informed decision making and effective response to the environmental change. So now let me get back to our earth engine. So this is our earth engine. So to download and visualize our to download a normalized difference moisture index. So to perform a normalized difference moisture index, first we need to import our Landsat 8 image into earth engine. So to import our Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine, we defined a variable called L8. So L8 here refers to Landsat 8 equals to double dot image collection, uh, Landsat LCOE, uh, CO1, and T1, TOA. That is collection 1, top of the atmosphere. So now to get the least cloud contaminated image, so we defined a variable called image 2020 equals to double dot image L8. So L8 is a variable of Landsat 8 image. So dot filter bound point. So we are specifically using a point data in order to acquire the Landsat 8 image of this particular study region. So uh, for that, you can use this option called uh, add a marker. Click this and first let me remove this uh, previous point. So now I have removed a previous point, uh, pointer that is a marker. So now let me click this marker and place a marker here. So now we can visualize here the variable geometry has been indicated here. Now let me rename it as a point. So now I have renamed as a point. So uh, we are using Landsat 8 image that is L8 refers to Landsat 8 image dot filter bound using point. You are using this particular uh, uh, to acquire this uh, image we are using this point data and dot filter bound referring to point that is this particular variable. This place marker refers this place marker is our point. So next we are filtering with a specific timeline that is dot filter date we are referring to 2020 January 1 to 2020 December 21st. The next uh, we are using a function called dot sort cloud cover. So uh, we are using uh, after sort we are using dot first function. So first function refers to the image with the least cloud contaminated image between this timeline from 2020 January to December 21st. So to output uh, view the information about this image we can uh, type as a print image 2020 so image 2020 refers to this variable of Landsat 8 image so next to compute our so to compute a normalized difference moisture index we need to uh, define a variable called b6 so b6 refers to band 6 in Landsat 8 image so equals to image 2020 so it refers to this variable dot select b6 b6 refers to band 6 in Landsat 8 image 
and similarly we defined another variable another variable called b5 refers to band5 equals to image 2020 dot select b5 so b5 refers to band5 in lancet 8 image so to perform our normalized difference uh, difference moisture index we defined a variable called ndmi ndmi that is our normalized difference moisture index 2020 equals to the band5 band5 subtract band6 dot divide band5 add band6 and rename as ndmi so let me show you the formula for that so here you can visualize that the formula for ndmi is nir minus short wave infrared divided by nir plus short wave infrared so for that we referred as variable ndmi 2020 band 5 subtract my that is band 5 minus band 6 divided by band 5 plus band 6 and rename as uh, ndmi so next to display a result we defined uh, to uh, display a result we defined so before that we need to center our object so center our layer so for that we define map dot center object referring to image 2020 with the zoom level of 9 and similarly we defined a variable called ndi ndmi params that is visualization parameter for our NDI, ndmi image so we have set a minimum value of minus 1 and to a maximum value of plus 1 uh, so here the positive and negative value has a negative 1 and plus 1 refers now let me show you so you can visualize that the negative value indicates a dry or stressed vegetation and the positive value indicates a healthy and well hydrated vegetation so let me get back to earth engine so we are referring and uh, the color palettes we are using is red yellow and green so red indicates the low moisture index and green indicates the high moisture index and yellow indicates the moderate moisture index so next uh, so next we defined the visualization parameter for our lancet 8 image previously we defined visualization parameter for our ndmi ndmi image so now we're going to define a visualization parameter for our lancet 8 image so for that we're referring to bands band b4 band b3 and band b2 referring to true color composite with a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 3000 and we have the gamma value 1.4 so next so to next to uh, add this ndmi layer layer into earth engine we define map dot add layer ndmi 2020 refers to this particular variable and ndmi param refers to a visualization parameter refers to this variable and output the layer name as ndmi image of 2020 so now to export this image to our google drive we defined export dot image dot to drive so here the image ndmi 2020 dot in 16 function and description we output the layer name as d uh, ndmi image 2020 with a spatial resolution of around 30 meters so with the region of uh, region is point data so we're using as a point as our uh, the indicative uh, study uh, region and to a max pixel level of 1 is to 10 power 13 so now let us run this code let me uh, reset this so we'll click this option called run script so now let us visualize the result of our ndmi image so we have previously indicated that the low ND, uh, the low moisture index are indicated in red color and high moisture indicate indica or index are indicated in green color so you can clearly able to visualize here the image the region with the red indicates low moisture index and region with the green indicates a very high moisture index and yellow indicates the moderate moisture index so now let me uh, click this option uh, go to the layers let me turn this off so here you can visualize this this is a lake and let me turn this layer on so the image has been uh, correctly has picked up the moisture index so the lake has been clearly identified as a green which indicates a very high moisture index and similarly let me say I check other uh, areas too so this is also a lake so you can visualize this is another water body so while uh, let us yeah it has captured our so it is indicated a high moisture index you can also similarly you can view this part of the region has a red color that indicates low moisture index so this part of the study region you can now visualize it the part of this part of the study region has indicated in a green color indicating a high moisture index so now let me turn on the satellite mode so let me turn this layer off so you can visualize this part of the region has the vegetation and uh, let me turn on turn on over moisture index so it is clearly highlighted this part of the region has a high moisture index which is indicated in green color 
So now let me so now let me zoom out. So now let us take a look at this uh, look at this information about this uh, image. So go to the console section, click this option. So let us view this uh, band list. So in Landsat 8 image we have around 11 bands. So now let us take the list. Uh, we have seen the pro property that is bands, and let us take a look at the property of this Landsat 8 image. So we can visualize there is a variety of uh, properties, the variety of details about this Landsat 8 image. You can visualize here the cloud cover and cloud land cover and the data and the elevation source and uh, we have a variety of, of this information so we have the map projection so there is around uh, 119 properties about this particular Landsat 8 image so now to download this image go to the option called task section so now to download or export this image that is of our NDMI image click this option go to the task section and click this, click this option called run so now an a window has been popped up saying that initiate an image export so we have our task name that is NDMI image 2020, the coordinate reference system and the scale that is spatial resolution 30 meters. So we are exporting to our Google Drive. So now, uh, so in GeoTIFF for file format, so now click this option. So now click this option called run. This will export our uh, NDMI image to our Google Drive. So currently it is uploading to our drive. So the image export has been completed, which has been uh, indicated here. That is a tick mark indicate the submitted task has been completed. The image has been exported to our Google Drive. So in this video, I have shown you how to download and visualize the NDMI image for any study region using Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.